Civil Engineering Academy, helping you in your journey to pass the PE. All right, welcome to Civil Engineering Academy. Today we're solving a problem from construction. The problem states a room is 40 feet by 30 feet in plan. So that's plan view. Ceiling height is 12 feet. Openings for doors and windows is 85 square feet. The following rates are given for the crew. Plaster and paint crew is uh, one supervisor, 25 bucks an hour. One laborer, 14 an hour. Two painters, 20 an hour. Plastering production, 60 feet squared per labor hour. And painting production, 160 square feet per labor hour. Estimate the labor cost for plastering and painting the room, walls and ceilings. So what are we going to do? Um, you you can use a civil engineering reference manual on this, but really this is just kind of a common sense type of question. You're just going to have to figure this one out on your own. So let's uh, let's take a look at it. Well, it's not very square, but there we go. All right. So we've got a room here. It is 40 feet by 30 feet. And we know that the height is 12 feet. So let's start figuring out what our area is between the walls and the ceilings. Or the ceiling, sorry. So the um, first thing I'm going to do is we know the height is 12 feet. Okay, and let's. Uh, Let's do a little equation here. We know that we've got a wall here and a wall here, so that's 30 feet plus another 30 feet plus you've got 40 feet plus 40 feet. That accounts for both walls on both sides, the 30 foot walls and the 40 foot walls. And that's all going to be multiplied by 12 because that's the height of those walls. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is account for the ceiling which is just going to be the area of the room, which is 40 by 30. And then we need to subtract out, so we've got openings for doors and windows, is given as 85 square feet, so you got to take that out because we don't need to do anything with that. Okay, so here we've got our walls, and here we have our ceiling, and here we have our doors slash windows. So what does that give me? That gives me an area here of 2795 square feet that we will be needing to plaster and paint. So the next thing we need to do is figure out well what our labor hours are. We're given a, a crew here. So um, we've got 25, let's just add this up. 25 bucks, 14 bucks an hour, and we have two painters. 20 bucks an hour that's per painter so that's actually 40 bucks an hour add all that up that's 79 dollars divide that by four workers and that gives me 1975 dollars per labor hour okay so now that we know that let's go ahead and figure out um, our production so we've got a total square footage here let's figure out how our production uh, plays a role in that how fast we're going to finish that and then we'll just multiply it by how much it is per labor hour and add it all up so plastering plastering we've got 27.95 square feet divided by 60 Okay, that gives me 46.58. Multiply that by our 1975 per hour, and I get 920.02 for plastering. For painting, you've got 27.95 square feet. Divide that by 160 square feet per labor hour, and that gives me 17.47. Multiply that by the same hourly rate, and that gives me 345.03. Add those two together, and I get 1265.05 
Looks like your closest answer here is A. So this is a question that you would see on the construction portion of the exam. They definitely ask one like this one all the time. Um, it's going to be different, you know, it could be dealing with um, footings or anything, but uh, you're going to have to figure out some labor costs and um, figure out some of this estimating. So I hope this helped you out. Head on over to civilengineeringacademy.com for more tips and tricks related to the PE exam. Thanks, buddy.